Hi, my name is Jen, and today we're exploring Pilates exercises that take place in quadruped. We'll be using the dowel as a prop to help us sense our alignment in the sagittal plane. Now the sagittal plane is typically thought of as our posture. So whether we're rounded forward, it also involves our pelvis, where the pelvis is in space. And the dowel is a wonderful tool that gives us information to help us sense these sagittal curves. So the first thing that will happen with these exercises that take place in quadruped is you'll take the dowel and it's easiest if you go into the shirt and then allow the dowel to come into your pants and it should rest just above your gluteal cleft, kind of on your sacrum. And then most likely it will also connect at your mid back and the back of the head. If you think about being as tall as possible, that might help those connections. Now for some of us who are a little bit more rounded through the back and who have a bit of a forward head position, I would suggest that you don't connect the back of your head to the dowel because in doing so, it may require that you tilt your head back. Instead, I just want you to think about lengthening the neck, keeping both the front and the back of the neck as long and equal as possible. From here, we're going to come into our quadruped or tabletop position. Really lining our shoulders up over the wrists and our pelvis above the knees. And then we'll do some rocking. We'll send the pelvis back, keeping all parts of our body connected into the dowel, and then send the pelvis forward. So you're trying not to create more connection between your body and the dowel or less connection between your body and the dowel. You're just keeping the connection the same. If you have the dowel too far down your pants, that is going to cause the dowel to come off of the upper back as you do this rocking action. So just put the dowel down your pants as far enough to where it connects into your sacrum. So you'll notice it's not really poking past my pants. So we can also think here that we're deepening the hip crease without changing the spine. And then we're lengthening the hip crease a bit. When you're ready to, you'll come back into your quadruped tabletop position. And we'll go ahead and do a few bird dogs here. So lengthen the right leg back, tuck the toes under, Check in to see if the dowel changed at all in its connection. Cup the left fingers forward. And then see if you can float those limbs off. Take a breath. And then come back down. Lengthen the left leg back. Reach the right fingers forward. Notice how your spine pelvis and head connects into the dowel. And we'll do about eight of these total. Lengthening the right leg back, noticing the connection into the dowel, reaching the left fingers with a cup first, and then simultaneously lifting them. And 
then bringing the hands back down. Try to spread your fingers as you weight bear into the mat. Good. And remember, you can do anywhere from eight to 10 of these. Thanks for joining me today. Once again, my name is Jen Gorman. I am an advocate, patient, and teacher for people with scoliosis, spinal fusions, and other back care concerns. If you have any questions or want to reach me, you can find me at scoliosisandbackcare.com. Thanks so much.